Hi there, my name is Pedro Salinas Ruiz, and I'd like to help you with an issue that I've seen a lot of people struggle with. So, uh, basically, you uh, try to open the subscription page of one of your paginated reports in either Power BI Reports or Server or SSRS, and you're given this terrible error that says, an error has occurred, something went wrong, please try again later. And you try again later and later, and you get the same error every time, and it's never gonna go away until you fix it. So I wanna help you out with that. Normally, it's a pretty time intensive endeavor to find the cause and uh, subsequently fix it. Uh, because of that, I wrote a PowerShell script that I hope will help you out. So I'm gonna show that to you now. Uh, the only thing you're gonna to wanna to change is uh, make sure to add your report server URL, uh, the slash reports web portal uh, no, subpath. Uh, the script is gonna have my address. You probably don't want that because it's definitely not gonna work. And then the other thing you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to take this query I've left for you. Uh, go ahead and copy it. Go over to uh, SQL Management Studio, uh, put it in there, and you're gonna run it. Um, now, I haven't included a where clause. Technically, you, you're you having an issue with one report. So you know which report has the corrupted subscription. But just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm gonna just run the test for all subscriptions uh, in my database. So I'm not gonna apply a where clause. You can though, feel free. I'm gonna copy the results, bring them that back to the query, paste them in, and just run the query. Basically, it's gonna just manually test each uh, subscription. And that's it, we found our culprit. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy the, the subscription ID. And now we're gonna go take a closer look. So let's do a select star from subscriptions where the subscription ID equals that. I'll run it. And most of the time, uh, you know, when, when I see this issue, and this is very anecdotal, but, uh, I think I've seen enough of it that I can say with a lot of confidence that a lot of the times this is going to be the cause of that particular issue. Uh, the XML values for, for extension settings, for, let's see here, for match data, let's, uh, let's add a, a break because it's gonna be kind of hard to, to see otherwise. And give me a second. Data settings is, is uh, might usually be considered and uh, parameters as well. And uh, most of my time, uh, uh, most of the time rather, uh, I've seen this guy right here, match data, be responsible. But honestly, I've seen all of these at one point or another be responsible for causing this issue. So what you wanna do next is take a look just manually at these, uh, these values. Make sure the XML is actually valid. Look for anything weird. Uh, worst case scenario, you can uh, sort of go one by one uh, until you, you find the culprit. So I've made this one kind of easy. Uh, I don't know if you've, you've spotted the issue, but the start date time is kind of wacky. That's not a real date. So unfortunately, while you would never want to do a straight update, of the database in a normal scenario, we're gonna kinda have to do that uh, here. So 
this is the value I wanna I wanna fix, right? Uh, it is the match data column. So I've already written out what uh, what I want to do. Uh, I've got a, a schema that I've created called backup. Honestly, you probably want to not do this in your report server database. You want to do this somewhere else. But but just back up the one value, uh, the subscription or this whole subscription table if you want. I mean, I really doubt you have that many subscriptions. Uh, but just back it up just so that you can restore the values if if need be for whatever reason. So I've already taken up uh, taken this backup. Uh, I can I can show it to you. Uh, it's nothing too exciting. It's what we were just looking at. There you go. It's that one one row that's all messed up. And now, like I said, we're gonna set that match data value to null. There we go, I just ran the query. So now I'm gonna come back over here and I try going into subscriptions again, and now it works. Fantastic. Just one little corrupt subscription messed up my access to all of my subscriptions for this report. Well, I hope that helps you. Uh, this isn't the most common issue. Uh, usually, uh, SSRS and Power BI, uh, Power BI report server do a good job of, of validating inputs and sanitizing them before they actually get committed to the database, but there are exceptions and they can happen um, for a variety of reasons. And uh, anyway, yeah, I hope uh, I hope this helps you. See you next time.